know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In this short lecture, I am going to discuss about mass irregularity. So, mass irregularity is one of the vertical irregularities given in table number six. So, this is irregularity number two. Now, if mass is not distributed evenly, or if mass is distributed unevenly uh, over the plan area, what happens? In that case, building tend to twist. If the mass is not distributed evenly uh, in the elevation, that means all the floors, uh, all the masses of the floors, uh, all the masses present in the floors, if they are not evenly distributed, what happens? So there are several uh, issues which uh, arise due to this uneven distribution of mass. So what it affects is number one, natural period gets affected. So if uh, say heavier masses are at the lower floors and then uh, uh, lighter masses are at the higher elevations, then uh, natural period will be uh, lesser. And if heavier masses are at the higher elevations, that means upper floors, then natural period increases. Okay, that is one thing. And if masses are unevenly distributed, then it affects mode shapes also. And also mode participation also get, uh, modal participation also gets affected. And another thing is base shear also gets affected. Now, what are the code provisions to overcome uh, or to understand this in a better manner? Uh, let's go into the details and check. Say, Table number six in vertical irregularities, this mass irregularity is there. Uh, what code says is, if like mass irregularity should mass irregularity shall be considered to exist when the seismic weight, okay, as per clause seven point seven, seismic weight of any floor is more than one fifty percent of that of floors below. So that means what for if any floor, if you compute all the uh, seismic weight, weights of all the floors, and if seismic weight of any floor is more than 150% of the floor below, then code considers uh, it to be irregular mass distribution or mass irregularity is present. You can see here, so this is heavier mass, this is heavier mass here, heavier mass here. So this heavier mass is more than the mass which is present in this floor. So when we compute the mass and uh, check if the mass of any floor is more than 150% of mass of the floor above, of, sorry, floor below, then it is considered to be mass irregularity is present in that. Now in that case, what code suggests is, uh, yeah, what, what are the problems or when this will occur? when there is a heavy equipment which is placed in any floor or if there, are, there is a heavier water tank or swimming pools, all these uh, items cause mass irregularity. And if that is there in the building, then uh, in the buildings with mass irregularity at they are located in zone three, zone four and zone five, the earthquake effects shall be estimated by dynamic analysis method as given in uh, section number, uh, clause number 7.7. .7. Why dynamic analysis? Why not uh, equivalent static analysis? Now in equivalent static analysis, we know that there are two terms. One is uh, base shear coefficient, and then the second one is seismic weight. So seismic weight will be say, wherever the uh, heavier mass is present, computation of seismic force, seismic weight will be same. But in uh, equivalent static analysis, this uh, that natural period is, uh, uh, natural period is calculated based on the uh, geometric dimensions of the building. And then uh, if say <clears throat> heavier masses are at the upper floors, heavier masses are at the upper floors. So in real behavior, uh, in dynamic behavior, natural period will be higher. But whereas if say heavier mass is at the lower floors, natural period will be uh, lower. So <clears throat> building will tend to be relatively stiffer if heavier mass is there at the base. And if heavier mass is there at the top relatively, uh, flexible. So this changes the uh, contribution of the seismic force. But whereas in uh, equivalent static method, because it depends, SA by G depends on the natural period, which in turn depends on the geometry of the building, then it won't change. So that's why code suggests to uh, go for dynamic analysis to capture the real natural period, means um, uh, near realistic natural period, 
mode shape uh, distribution and also uh, like uh, uh, correct computation of uh, a base shape. Yeah, the intention of this short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers to understand the code provisions in a better manner. Following references have been used for preparation of this lecture. Thank you.